Hey guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back to my channel, man. <laughs> Great to be back, guys, with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a snow mask for FS22. For those of you um, who don't know how to create a snow mask, uh, this should be helpful. So let's have a quick look at that. First of all, if this is your first time on my channel, a warm welcome. Please do remember to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate that, guys. It does help my little channel grow. <laughs> so, so yes, I really appreciate that. Okay, guys, so we are here on a map and um, that I'm busy converting for a guy. And you can immediately see um, the snow mask is the indoor mask. And there is absolutely a zero uh, snow mask, as you can see. That This is the actual snow mask. So how it works, your indoor mask is the snow mask. It has been um, um, introduced into FS22 as an indoor mask. And it's got two states, indoor and outdoor. So for the indoor state, uh, whatever you paint needs to be uh, where snow is not going to be. In other words, you are saying to the game, what is inside you know what is indoors so under your under your uh, or places where you don't want it to have snow like under your uh, sheds um, um, maybe under trees of uh, under um, or over your cell points um, spots that you don't want snow to land you use the indoor state and you, you get it by selecting zero so that's the outdoor state so we want to do the indoor state so wherever I paint now I will uh, be be stopping the snow from falling there. So I just want to see I'm on subtract. So with the right mouse button, I can uh, remove and with the left button I add. So that's basically how it is if you want to do it manually. But luckily in FS22, there is a much simpler way of doing this. So you can now spend 10 hours um, painting your map <laughs> with a snow mask. Um, or you can do the easy way, the former Bob way, which I will definitely share with you. And that is so simple. All you go is go into, I think it's under scripts and then map. And then, uh, now it's seasons, generate mask. There it is. So you go seasons, generate mask. And click here on this top line where it says your i3d directory click it there and it will say not responding so now you just sit and wait until it is finished now it's very confusing because here at the bottom it says ready i always look at this ready to know when something is right or something is finished processing you know but in this case for the for the field work for the um info layers for generating the um the other scripts it doesn't work like that so f especially the long ones just click on the top bar here where where your directory structure is and then it will give you that little rolling ball until it's finished you know so <laughs> that's the way when it says not responding it means it's still busy so when it stops saying not responding and this little circle thingamabob is away then you know it's all done and dusted um, and then i'm going to show you how to actually use it because this unfortunately is not just a matter of creating it like this you have to rename your indoor mask uh, with the one that this one is creating for some reason giants they were clever enough to put the script into the into the editor to create the thing but they weren't clever enough to to put it in its right place with the right name i mean they're the guys that named it indoor mask <laughs> why didn't they just put it automatically you know save it in the right spot with the right name so that everything should be kosher you know <laughs> so yeah i'm just not too sure always how these guys work but anyway um we love love them and leave them as they are you know so anyways guys um this is basically um me trying to keep the the microphone busy while we're waiting for this little ball to roll and uh, it might be a good time now as since we are waiting for you to just hit that subscribe if you haven't done that yet that's really good to do that you'll feel much better i promise you <laughs> anyways as you can see it's all done and dusted so now we're going to go to the console first of all to make sure that there's no errors or anything funny business going on here it says saving mask and it tells you exactly where it saved it it's called map i3d indoor mask dot g r l e that's the mask that it's created so we need to go to that directory now so we're looking for the file called map i3d indoor mask the g r l e all right so into the map 
Uh, there we go. Maps, Map Alpine, and then uh, Map I3D Indoor Mask. There it is. So that's our, our newly created Snow Mask. Now, we need to rename this to, if you go into your data folder, you find your Indoor Mask in here. Under your, um, I think it's under the Info layer. Uh, lime level indoor mask there it is so all you need to do is click this once and then click it again it will give you the the highlight of everything control c and then go back one folder and overwrite that name in there by clicking the same and there you go and now all we're going to do is drag that file in there move it there and replace the existing one and as easy as that just close the map Let's save it since it's been so so friendly with us. And, uh, we should have actually saved and closed it before, but now we just reopen it and now we can quickly have a look. You remember how the indoor mask uh, looked like when I showed you? It was all blank. There was nothing. So now I'm going to show you how to... Um, how it has created for you a snow mask and now the you have to still go and just make sure the giants has done the job right guys because i mean uh, sometimes they miss a spot or, or things so all we're going to do now is just open up the, the mask or the info layer and go into indoor mask once again and select there and now um want to just browse around a bit if there is places where there should not be snow for instance like under that thing let's just have a look I don't really see them creating any mask as such um, maybe these other places here's some sheds there should be a mask under those sheds <laughs> it spent all that time creating that mask and um, to be honest i don't really see a mask that is worthy of being cre being used you know um so i'm just thinking now you see the problem is this is all fs19 buildings but they, they all have collision on them so i don't know what and why let's have a look at this shit yeah that's also an fs19 shit You see what it should look like now it should actually have painted for you a just a mask there where where it shouldn't snow you know under that shed like that that's what it should look like that's the process by the way anyway and we didn't have any any errors on 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 the um the thing when we did it so oh, I, i'm just gonna not save i'm just gonna close and i just want to open that the way you can verify this indoor mask um, to see what it looks like. What is this now? Map I3D. Oh, okay. Sorry, man. I was busy with the, the map I3D just sorting out some errors. The way you <coughs> you verify. What have I got open here still? It's Master Chef. I'm busy watching Master Chef with my wife. <laughs> Good. Anyway, so here we are. Um, what you'll do is find the find that um, GRE converter from giant developer network so what we're going to do is grab our map why do I not have another tab here what's open in a new tab no let's just open it in a new window because otherwise if you if you don't have it in a separate window you can't drop the thing on there so annoying that you have to drop it but anyways uh, so we just open the file it's in the data folder so we're gonna find the info layer indoor mask that one I see I still got here a form lens which I can delete is an indoor mask so we just drop it on convert wait for it to generate the PNG it's done and then open it up and it's all blank yeah. it doesn't make sense doesn't make sense hmm all right I'm gonna retry it just for fun and I'll be back in a flash
Okay, guys, for the life of me, it's not working on this map for some reason. I'm not too sure why, but if it works on yours, it should be great. You should be able to verify it here by your indoor mask and then select level uh, channel zero for it. And we, once you click there, um, what has happened now? There it is now suddenly. Am I an indoor mask? I'm an indoor mask. That's what's supposed what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> okay. I don't know guys. Maybe I was too close. Was I too close? Can it be? No, it's impossible. It can't be because I was too close. There it is. Okay, so it does work. I just got no idea why it um for some reason didn't want to update. But that's what it's supposed to look like. So it's created under all your structures a, a mask so if we now go to I've, I've just redone it a second time guys and um, just to be sure that it didn't work and then it didn't work and now that i started recording mm, suddenly it pops up so when you look now you see it created nice little uh, things all under your buildings under trees uh, places where not all trees, but some, some of the trees. I don't know why not all trees, but some of the trees do get a little plop where it doesn't snow, you know. So um, it does definitely help. The other idea, if, if it doesn't work, it should work. But if it doesn't work, another idea that um, you can have a look at is toggle your placement collision generated and then go into zero. You can take this mask this mask it's also in your uh, map directory so if you open your map in there is uh, info layer placement collision generated info layer placement collision generated this one and then just rename that into your in info layer indoor mask so if you if you take that because this is a, a tip collision so tip collision snow snow mask the same it works exactly the same same thing and then drop that one in there what I've also done in the in the interim a bit while we were while, while I was off um, of making the video just to test is you can once you um, once you're happy with your whole map and you've placed all your buildings and everything is in place and you want to finalize your map you come in here to scripts and then you run the the uh, create a ground collision map so this will automatically update your tip collision that same one that we did the tip collision generator and then placement collision it will update those layers automatically for you yeah and then uh, once once that is done you save it it will give you in the console um, remember to open your console before you run it so that you can see here at the bottom when it's done and then also it will tell you here to save your map and then once you've saved it it will update all your layers and then you can uh, take that uh, placement collision generated rename it to your indoor mask and then just overwrite it and it will do exactly the same thing you know because uh, um, if for some reason like mine it didn't want to do it but then suddenly it came right and now it is working oh, it's weird eh? I'm not too sure why <laughs> we, have, we have to love giant save with <laughs> it's just crazy guys anyway I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was helpful that's the whole idea of my channel is to make small uh, nice videos to help you guys out with making maps and sorting out the issues and problems so yeah take care guys I'll catch you on the next one cheers